that fixed point is called the focus of the conic section and the line is called the directrix of a conic section eccentricity e is equal to 1 then the conic section is said to be a parabola if this is the curve this curve is exactly symmetric towards x axis it is exactly the mirror image of each other Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So here in this session, we'll start with the new chapter, Parabola. Let's see what are the things we are going to study in this session. We will discuss about what do you mean by parabola, types of parabola and what are the characteristics of different types of parabola. Before we go to study in detail about parabola, we have to note about a concept called conic section. So what do you mean by a conic section? So a conic section is the locus of the point which moves such that the ratio of its distance from the fixed point S to its distance from the fixed line is always a fixed positive constant. Suppose we have a point here, if this is the point, the movement of this point, its distance from another point and a straight line, any other straight line must be same, must be same. So that fixed point is called the focus of the conic section and the line is called the directrix of a conic section. So how we can generate it? So you can see this a conic section is nothing but it's a locus of a point whose distance from a fixed point and a fixed line is same so according to the definition of the conic section we can write ps by pm is equal to a which is a fixed constant whose its value will be always a constant so the ratio of these two distance will be some constant and this constant ratio is called as eccentricity of a conic section and it is denoted by E. Usually we get all these sections from a cone. So here conic sections and its type. So we have different conic section. So it is usually generated from a cone, two cones which are placed reverse to each other. So when a slide is inserted inside a cone, you can see a circle is formed. So if it is inserted in this form, you will get an ellipse. So if similarly, you can get other curves such as parabola. If a slide is inserted in somewhere here, so you will get a curve like this which is a parabola and if you insert two times you will get two curves one like this and one like this which is called as hyperbola. So these all curves which where you will get inside the cones adjacent to each other. So all these curves you get from this cones. Now according to the definition of eccentricity if eccentricity E is equal to 1 then the conic section is said to be a parabola. If the eccentricity E is less than 1, then conic section is called as ellipse. If eccentricity is greater than 1, then it, conic section is called hyperbola. All this parabola, hyperbola and ellipse you will get through this formation only. So whenever two cones are faced adjacent to each other and any slide is inserted inside these cones, you will get all these curves. But according to the definition of a conic section, it is a locus of a point whose distance from a fixed point to the fixed line will be a fixed constant and that constant is called as the eccentricity and according to the eccentricity we will decide whether the curve is parabola or an ellipse or a hyperbola. Now we know what is parabola. So a parabola is a curve whose eccentricity is 1. It is a part of a cone Hence, it is called as conic section. All these parabola, hyperbola and ellipse are parts of a cone. Hence, they are called as conic sections. Now, 
what do you mean by a parabola? So in definition we say parabola is the locus of the point which moves such that its distance from the fixed point which is called as focus. In definition we say parabola is the locus of the point which moves such that its distance from the fixed point, fixed point is called the focus, is equal to its distance from the fixed line which is called as directrix. So whenever you have a point whose distance from the point as well as the directrix, that point is called as focus. If the distance between a point to the focus and directrix are same, we call it as the parabola. Let us derive the equation of a parabola now. So here we have a theorem. The equation of a parabola with choice of coordinate axis is y square is equal to 4ax. This is called as the standard form of a parabola. We can either express in terms of x to y or y to x, but the standard form of a parabola is always denoted by y square is equal to 4ax. So here I have taken a diagram. Let's see how we have drawn it. Now, so this is let S, so let S be your focus and L be your directrix. This is what I have considered. Let S be a focus and L be a directrix. So draw SZ parallel to directrix. Draw SZ parallel to directrix. So this is now Z. Now let O be the midpoint of this line. So this is the O. So the distance between OZ and OS is same now. So therefore, what I have taken, let S be the focus and L be the directrix. So next draw SZ parallel to L. Again, let O be the midpoint of SZ. So this is the line, let O be the midpoint of SZ. Now I'll take let SZ is equal to 2A. So here A is positive. So if SZ is 2A, then what is OZ and OS? It is A. So now what we'll do is we choose this ZOS as x-axis and a perpendicular line from O as y-axis. So let O be the origin now. So this is the x-coordinate, this is the y-coordinate. So what we are supposed to do there, let O be the origin, let O be the origin to line Z O S X. Next, let Y O Y dash. So this is the line Y O. This here we have Y dash B pass through O perpendicular to Z O S X. So what we can choose now? So we can choose this line as x-axis and this line as y-axis. We can write here x. So this is now x, x dash, y, y dash. This is the origin. So now let P be any point on the curve. So if this is a parabola, let P be any point on the curve. Let P of x comma y be any point on the parabola. So this is what I have taken. So then by the definition, so if P is a point, then from the focus, so from this fixed point, the distance from the focus and the distance from the directrix must be constant. So what we can write here, that is SP will be equal to, so here, what I will do here, this SP and PM must be equal. SP is equal to PM. I'll take modulus here because 
it is distance. So whether it is a negative value or a positive value, it converts it into positive. So I'll write modulus SP is equal to modulus PM. So next I'll write SP square is equal to PM square. Now I'll draw a perpendicular line here. So this is can be written as N. Now here clearly PM is equal to ZN. So therefore, SP square can be replaced with ZN square. Now what is ZN actually? It is OZ plus ON. So SP square is equal to OZ plus ON whole square. Now what is SP square? We have a coordinates A comma 0 and X comma Y and here for Z we have minus A comma 0, origin V is 0 comma 0. So if I apply the distance formula for SP square, so since I'll square it, no need to write the square root. So I can write this as X minus A whole square plus Y minus 0 becomes Y square. The length of OZ is actually A, so it becomes A plus ON is the distance from X axis which can be considered as X. So it is A plus X whole square. Now we got this as X minus A whole square plus Y square is equal to A plus X whole square. So now expand it. Here we got X minus A whole square. It is X square plus A square minus 2AX plus Y square is equal to A square plus X square plus 2AX. So we can cancel a square x square a square x square on the both sides. When you shift 2ax that side it becomes plus 2ax which is equal to 4ax. So this is actually the standard form of equation of a parabola. So where y coordinate is expressed in terms of x. So this equation is also called as standard equation or a standard form of the parabola. Now we will discuss about the shape of the parabola. How is actually parabola? So the very first point is, we know the equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4ax. Suppose if you replace y by minus y, what happens? If you replace y by minus y, it is nothing but minus y square is equal to 4ax. So that means this is same as y square is equal to 4ax. So what does this mean now? Suppose if you have a coordinate as x comma minus y, if you have a coordinate as x comma minus y, that is also a point on the parabola. Here, any point on the parabola can be written in the form of x comma y because it is in the first quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, x is positive, y is negative. So even though you have a point x comma minus y, this curve is symmetric about x axis. So you can exactly see if this is the curve, this curve is exactly symmetric towards x-axis. It is exactly the mirror image of each other. So the upper part and lower part is symmetric towards x-axis. They are mirror image to each other. So that is why because even though if you have the coordinates as plus y or minus y, the curve is always symmetric towards x-axis. So that is why so even though if you have the coordinates as x comma y or x comma minus y, we say the shape of the parabola is the symmetric towards the x-axis. Next, the second point, suppose if x value is less than zero. So if x value is less than zero, that means y square is less than zero. So what it shows, parabola should lie behind this origin. It shows that y do not have any real solution because x less than 0 is not a real number. So therefore, we say y square will become a negative quantity which shows that the part of the curve to the left side of the x-axis has no real solution. Next, the third point is if y is equal to 0, so if you substitute y is equal to 0, this implies x is equal to 0. So this means the parabola here touches the y-axis at the point 0 as well as the x-axis at the point x is equal to 0. That means this curve touches the origin and the y-axis is 
tangent to the parabola. Why tangent to the parabola? Because it only meets the parabola at origin. Any line touching the curve at only one point is called as tangent. So therefore, if y value is zero, that means the y axis is tangent to the parabola. Also, if x is equal to zero, that implies y is equal to zero. That means x axis touch the parabola only at origin. Y axis also touch the parabola at origin only, but Y is called as the tangent to the curve. So the next point, we have Y square is equal to 4AX. So this implies Y is equal to plus or minus 2 root AX. Now here we exist to two condition. One is Y is equal to plus 2 root ax. Another one is y is equal to minus 2 root ax. Now what does this implies? This shows as x moves from 0 to infinity, y increases from 0 to infinity as well as y decreases from 0 to minus infinity. That means the curve go on extending on both the sides of the x axis. So it will move on to the infinite values. So on the upper side it increases, on the lower side it decreases to minus infinity as x tends to 0 to plus infinity. That is why we have two values for y. One is plus and another one is minus. So from all these observation what we can conclude? So this is the shape of the parabola. So the shape of the parabola as it says it touches x axis at origin, it touches y axis at origin. The curve must be symmetric towards the x axis and as x value increases, it should increase on the upper part that is to the first quadrant and it should decrease in the second quadrant. Therefore, the curve of the parabola will be always increasing to plus infinity and minus infinity towards x axis. So now what are the observations here we have to do here? So here this point, the origin is called as vertex of the parabola. And this is called as focus and this is the directrix. So as I said the coordinates here minus a comma 0, 0 comma 0, a comma 0 represents the distance from origin to the directrix and origin to the focus. So we have taken the total distance as 2a. That means it a distance on x axis. So if its distance is a, then on the x axis it is represented as a comma 0. Here it is behind the origin. So therefore the value is taken as minus a. We have one more extra thing here. What is this line LL dash? So this is nothing but a chord of the parabola which is perpendicular to the x axis. A chord which cuts the parabola perpendicular to the x axis is called as latus rectum. So we can draw any chord like this, like this. So chord is nothing but which cuts the curves in two points. We can draw number of cards but the chord which is perpendicular to the x axis or we can say parallel to the y axis and it touches the focus is called as the latest rectum of the parabola. And this ZS, this is called as the axis of parabola. So here one line is tangent to the parabola and this is called as axis of the parabola. V is called vertex, S is called focus, line L is nothing but the directrix of the parabola. Now let's see what do you mean by latest rectum. So the chord passing through the focus. So this is very important. The chord passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis of parabola. So here in previous case we have taken x axis as the axis of parabola. So and the line which is passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis of parabola is nothing but the latest rectum of the parabola. So we can also find the equation for this line. So the coordinates are given. So LL dash, I'll take this as LL dash. So if you apply the distance formula there, it is A minus A whole square, 2A minus of 2A which becomes, so 2A minus of 2A which is plus 2A whole square under the square root. 
So here you can write this as, so which is 4 a whole square under the square root you can cancel it. So L L dash is equal to 4 a. So this is the length of the latest rectum. We can call this as the length of the latest rectum. So where a is the distance from the origin to the focus or to the directrix. One more point you should remember here. So any cord passing through this focus is called as focal cord and focal cord need not be perpendicular always. That means it not be latest rectum always. Any cord can pass through this focus, but it is not necessary that it must be always perpendicular. So the cord which is perpendicular to the axis is called as the latest rectum. You can also have any focal cords which is passing through the focus also. Now we come across many types of parabola, majorly four types. That is, if this is the X and Y axis, we can get the curve either in this shape or in this shape or upward curve or a downward curve. So these are the four major types of parabola. So let's study what are the characteristics of this parabola. Now the curve or the parabola given here is called as the left handed parabola. So let's study the characteristics of this parabola. So as I said vertex, focus, directrix, latest rectum and axis of parabola is x axis here. Let's study. So here vertex is origin always so it is v 0 comma 0 and focus is s whose value is a comma 0 because it lies on the positive side of the x axis and equation of directrix equation of directrix here is so the distance is minus a here so therefore the equation is given as x is equal to minus a or x plus a is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the directrix and length of latest rectum. So length of latest rectum since it is about length it is always positive. So therefore it is 4 into a. Next equation of latest rectum here it lies plus a to the y axis. So therefore equation of latest rectum is is x is equal to a or we can write x minus a is equal to 0. Next we can also have the parametric form of this equation. So the equation in terms of coordinates is y square is equal to 4ax. Parametric equations or those equations where x and y coordinates are expressed in terms of some other parameter. You have studied in differential calculus how to derive a parametric equation. So when you derive those, you will get back the same original equation which suits with the same original equation. So what is a parametric form of parabola? Here is, so parametric form. So the x coordinate is given by a t square and y coordinate is given by 2 a t. So this is in terms of t where x is nothing but a t square, y is nothing but 2 a t expressed in another parameter t. Next we have as I said it is symmetric towards x axis. The axis of parabola here is x axis and y is tangent to this parabola. So these are the different characteristics of right handed parabola. Let's see the left handed parabola. So here clearly you can see here the left handed parabola origin is 0 comma 0 focus is minus a comma 0. Why? Because it is behind the origin. So if this is negative x axis so the distance may be a but the point is minus a and equation of the directrix here is x is equal to a. Why? Because it a directrix lies in the positive x axis at a distance a. So therefore the equation of directrix of left handed parabola is x is equal to a or we can write x minus a is equal to 0. And length of the latest rectum here it is same which is 4a only and equation here is x is equal to minus a. Why? Because the latest rectum here lies in the negative side of the x-axis. So therefore it is x is equal to minus a or we can write 
x plus a is equal to 0. And here the polar coordinates can be expressed as minus 80 square and 280. Because x is negative here, so therefore the first coordinate is negative and the second coordinate y is positive. And clearly you can see the curve is symmetric towards x axis. Here also x is, axis is called the axis of parabola and y axis is tangent to the parabola. And here the equation of the left handed parabola is given by y square is equal to minus 4ax. A minus indicates it is left handed parabola and which is the standard equation of the left handed parabola. Let's see one more that is upward parabola. So this is what upward parabola here. So you can see the vertex which is origin focus is on the y axis. So on the y axis x value is 0. So the distance from y axis is a. So focus here is considered as 0 comma a. Vertex is same for all the parabola and look at the directrix here. The directrix lies on the negative side of y axis which is at a distance a. So therefore the equation here is y is equal to minus a. The equations of the line which is parallel to the x axis is always y is equal to some constant. Therefore the directrix is given by y is equal to minus a or I can write y plus a is equal to 0. Let's go for the latest rectum now. Lo here the latest rectum coordinates are given as minus 2a comma a, 2a comma a and the length is same. So when you apply the distance formula, the length of latest rectum is same. That is length of LR is 4a only and equation of latest rectum here. What about the equation of latest rectum? This line is parallel to the x-axis. So therefore it must be y is equal to and it lies a distance above the y-axis. So it is y is equal to a or we can write y minus a is equal to 0. Now coming towards the axis of the parabola. Which is the axis of the parabola? Here y-axis is the axis of parabola and x-axis is tangent to the parabola. What about the parametric form of this equation? So the parametric form here is 2at comma at square and here as I said the axis of parabola is y axis. Clearly you can see the curve is symmetric towards y axis and how we can write the equation of this form. So the equation of this parabola is x square is equal to 4ay. So this equation represents the upward form of parabola. Next one we have downward parabola. So you can see here x axis, y axis, origin, focus, directrix, latest rectum. Let's study the characteristics here. Here the vertex is 0 comma 0 only. Focus will be 0 comma minus a because focus lies in negative side of y axis and the coordinates of latest rectum are minus 2a minus a. Why both are minus here because it lies in the third quadrant. Here it lies in the fourth quadrant so x positive y negative. Now directrix is at a distance of a which is on the positive side of the y axis. So therefore the equation of directrix is y is equal to a. Next we come across the length of the latest rectum. So this is the length of the latest rectum. So when you calculate the distance here it is same that is length will be equal to 4a only. What about the equation of latest rectum? So it is at a distance a from the origin but since it lies on the negative side the equation can be written as y is equal to minus a or y plus a is equal to 0. Next, what about the polar form of this parabola? So the polar form of this parabola will be 2at comma minus at square. So this is the polar form of this parabola because here x is positive and y is negative because y lies 
y value either this side or this side lies in the negative y axis. Next here, what we can say, the axis of parabola here is y axis and x axis is the tangent to the parabola and the curve is symmetric towards y axis. You can see it is exactly the mirror image and y axis becomes the axis of parabola, hence it is symmetric towards y axis. And the equation of this type of parabola is given by x square is equal to minus 4ay. So this is the standard equation of the downward parabola. So it is very important to note the all characteristics of the four types of parabola when it is upward, downward, right-handed and left-handed. So in the next session, let's study about how to frame an equation of a parabola with these conditions or how to find out the characteristics of a parabola whenever the equation of a parabola is given. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.